Do your lip products bleed on you? It's a common problem with women as we age. We get these fine little lines around the mouth and whether it's drugstore or very high-end Chanel, all lip products will end up bleeding into the corners as we speak or eat through the little lines throughout the day. And I'm going to teach you how to prevent that so you can go back to wearing beautiful lipsticks in any formula and any color. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler and this is Clean Beauty Babe. I am an over 25 year professional makeup artist working in television, film and commercial. And I am so happy to be back. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus and I can't promise you I'm gonna be real consistent right now because I am a makeup artist out in the field. I have been working in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, which is a mini Hollywood. We have some sound stages there and we have some really great shows and films filming there right now. And it's real exciting. And so every week I've been going to Wilmington to work on um, a few different TV shows and I love it. I love traveling, I love what I do, but then it takes me away from my YouTube audience and I'm so sorry and I promise to try to get back as soon as I can. But I had a great, great topic today. This is a pain source for a lot of women. A lot of women will reach out to me one, asking me how to get rid of their lip lines. And unfortunately, other than like really serious deep chemical peels, which I know can lessen the lines, <sighs> surgery, you know, surgery, chemical peels, things like this really do help the lip lines. But lip lines are just part of aging. And what's most frustrating for those of us who love makeup and love lip products is Maybe not initially right away, but throughout the day, we start to get lip pro li any lip products start going up into our little lip lines. And, and as our mouths start to turn down as we age, it can get caught here. So I notice even if I'm just drinking tea or drinking water, we get like a little accum accumulation of um, moisture in the outer corners or mixed with saliva or whatever we're drinking or eating. And suddenly our lipstick starts to bleed out here and then it slowly starts to go into the little fine lines around the mouth. And I had a beautiful mother of the bride last weekend and I did a gorgeous lipstick and gloss on her. And it was the type that really doesn't bleed at all on anyone, but she was in her 60s. She was gorgeous, just gorgeous. But within like 10 minutes, I noticed it starting to bleed. And I thought, oh gosh, I really need that product um, that was a lip wax that Benefit Cosmetics used to make. And it, it came in a little black compact. They don't make it anymore because I went on their website. And it was a little black compact and it had a little strip of, of, of wax. It was mortician's wax. And it had a little angled brush that was real short and thick. And you would paint it all around your lip line, then put your lipstick on. My mom and I loved it and it did not bleed. Nothing bleeds because that, that wax was a barrier. And so I thought, okay, well, they don't make it. I know it's mortician's wax. I used it in special effects school when I got into the union in Hollywood. I'll just order some on Amazon. And it usually comes in a little tin. I'm gonna link it below. I even did a TikTok today where I did um, half of my mouth with wax and I'm going to do that today. I'm going to show you how to use it and the other half no wax and then I put a juicy gloss on just to expedite the process and within about 10 or 15 minutes sure enough the red lips were like leaking all here going up into a couple lines here one line down here this side zero zero lines zero leakage zero in it was amazing, okay? So I did a quick TikTok and then I thought, I can't ignore my YouTube audience. Not everyone on YouTube is on TikTok. Not everyone on TikTok wants to go to YouTube and you guys have been so patient with me and you deserve a tutorial. Now, some of you are gonna say, oh my gosh, this is too much work. Then this is not the video for you. This is for women whose pain point really truly is I'm so sick of products bleeding on me. I'm, I really wanna wear my beautiful Chanel lipstick and you know, I don't care if it's Revlon or Chanel, it's all bled on me. I don't care if it's drugstore or high end. Everything is now bleeding on me in my 50s, okay? So if it's bleeding on me, I know it's bleeding on you. 
And I know for a fact that wax is a barrier. It's going to stop all bleeding. So it's gonna take a little bit of work, but once you get the hang of it, it's gonna be easy. And it stays on all day. I mean, really, I mean, even just now, um, after I did my TikTok, I went and washed all my red lips off, reapplied makeup, and I still had wax. It just doesn't budge. It's amazing. So you have to have the wax, you have to have the spatula. Now I'm gonna link it in my profile. It's Meron, M-E-H-R-O-N, Meron Scar Wax, or it's called Sin Wax. And then a little spatula. These are about $5. They're great. You have the pointy side, you have this side, but you're gonna take, oh, you know what? Let's line my lips first. You wanna line your lips first. Let's do that, I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna put on a red lipstick today for you, and then I'm gonna come back later and show you how one side is bleeding and one side is not. But I'm gonna use just a good old fashioned uh, natural color. See how that's just a natural color? Even with red lips, I like natural lip liners. So you're gonna line your lips as normal. If you wear pink, fuchsia, whatever, you can do whatever, whatever color, but that lip liner really is a barrier. It really, really, truly does slow, it's slow, it retards, it slows the, the bleeding process. So I always use a lip liner, but let's be honest, as we get older, even with lip liners, it starts to bleed, okay? This is the Jouer. If any of you are into nude lips, this is so gorgeous. This is the Jouer Retractable in Sienna. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. You want to put on the Mortician's Wax. Um, it's really Mortician's Wax, <laughs> but we call it Scar Wax. Now, you want to put a little bit. See how much I have on there? Not much. Not much. And you're going to put a little bit on your hand. Wax is kind of thick and hard and you wanna warm it up. You wanna warm it up. See how I'm warming it up? I'm just kind of scraping, 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 warming it up, warming it up so that it's a little bit more pliable and not so hard. And then while it's already on the spatula, you're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it. And if you get little clumps, it's okay. Little clumps of wax, just go back. It's eventually all gonna smooth out. Now, this will get faster and easier, but this is for those women. Now, I'm, I really, look, Look at that crease. I have creases and I don't care. Even if I'm wearing nude, beautiful nude lipstick, it gets caught in those corners and starts to bleed out. And I hate it. I just hate it. So I'm really, con you know, and one, another thing about wax is it fills in the crevices, okay? That's why it's called mortician's wax. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. It's what morticians have used to fill in things on corpses. And I really bleed up here, do you? So see how, it's like icing a cake, except you're gonna do it real thin. You know, we like cake frosting to be nice and thick. Okay, can you see this? I don't know if the camera's focusing, but you just kind of rub it to warm it up on your hand. And then it's like you're frosting a cake. You can go back, you can go forward, you can go. any which way and it's totally it's totally invisible okay 
If you have an area where it's a little bit thicker, more chunky, take it and just blend it up. Okay, you cannot tell the difference. This side, no wax. This side, wax. You cannot tell the difference, okay? Now, we're gonna take one of my favorites, red lipstick. My favorite is Russian Red. This is Ruby Woo, it's a little blue, but I, it's fine. I'm gonna use it right out of the tube because I know that's how most women like to use their lipstick. And I'm gonna go right up. I'm going right up to the, my lip line. Once you get the hang of it, I promise it gets faster and it doesn't budge. I'm telling you, even the stuff I put on my hand, it's real hard to get off. And not all waxes are created equal. The Maron wax, they've been around 90 years. They've done special effects makeup and regular makeup for 90 years. It's made in the USA. Don't be getting cheap waxes from China. Um, I think a, a, a little pot of it is maybe $8.99, $9.99. The spatula is like five bucks. It will last you five years. Five years. I'm not kidding you. You'll have it forever. Okay, when you go um, out, let's say you want to keep it in your purse and you, you don't want to take like a big old tin with you. Well, then, you know, get a little tiny container, like maybe get one of those like, I don't know, Clinique or Estee Lauder gift with purchase little jars, right? The little mini samples of skincare, clean it out, scrape some wax off, throw it in there, throw it in your purse. You know, you can easily keep a spatula in your purse but <laughs> I love it because it fills in that little, it, it fills in that crease I have in my outer corner. Okay, there, done. I have my red lips on. I know that seemed to take a, a while. I promise you it gets faster and easier. Um. It's not easy to get off your hand. Um, you're gonna have to really wanna scrape it off with like a towel and you will have a little bit of a film, but it's just wax. It's just wax and um, it's what we use in, in special effects. It's what we use for, you know, scars and horror movie, okay? So as you know, most matte lipsticks are have great staying power. They don't budge, they don't run, but, when you're talking all day, when you're drinking, when you need to reapply, when you're eating maybe like a greasy salad that has salad dressing, you know, all those things can lend themselves to lip bleeding, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check back in a few hours after I've had more tea, after I've had a chicken salad for dinner, and um, we will we will see. Ooh, look, you can even see my lines here. We will see, because I want you to see the difference, like what I showed everyone on TikTok. This side bled everywhere. This side remained perfect. Are you hopeful? Okay, Stay it's tuned. a couple hours later, and I had a large chicken arugula salad for dinner with a lemon dressing, so you know, it kind of got all over and I was patting my lips a lot. I did not have to retouch my lipstick. I just kind of patted all the dressing and oil off my mouth um, and then went to look in the mirror and here is what I want you to see, okay? This side looks good. This side, look, running in my corners of that. 
Now it's interesting, it didn't run very much on the top and I that's great, that's a great testament to this, um, I don't know where it is right now, but my Jouet, um, my Jouet lip pencil, pretty, oh here it is, Jouet lip pencil, did a really nice job, because I am not bleeding anywhere on the top, but I, and it, it looks, it looks so bad in person. But here, here's what I want to change. I told you all to use a spatula, and you still could get one. It's great to own a spatula. Um, but I then remembered that the benefit came with like a really tiny little brush like this, like this short, like this short. And it was real stiff and hard. See how hard this is? Because it's a brow. This is a brow brush. So it's really, really hard and stiff. You cannot bend it. I actually went into the wax with this and warmed it up. And then, oh, here, let me get a mirror. You can get a cleaner line with it, but also I feel like it goes into all of those little nooks and crannies. Oh, look, I have one little, I don't know if you can see it, but I do have one little bleed right there, but it's not on the wax side. So I feel like this little brush can really get it closer to the lip line. But I mean, are you convinced? <laughs> it really works. And now that you can do this, just like this, rather than like the, the spatula, which can be clumsy and a little bit more intimidating and go on a little bit more thick and clumpy, this is, anyone can do this. This is easy and impressive, you know? You can go in anywhere. Ooh, do I want to do my nose? <laughs> okay, now I'm just being silly. Anyway, you want the Maron wax because it's safe ingredients. I, I went through every single ingredient. It's score safe. Um, it's completely safe for you. It's made in the USA, and Maron is a company I trust and I've used for over 20 years. Um, and then I will try to find this little brush somewhere on Amazon just to make easy ordering for you unless you have something at home. This is not the same as this, which is an eyeliner brush and is really, look at how, see how bendy that is? Real floppy bendy because it's supposed to be a little softer for eyeliner. Oh, I have a hair on my lip. Um, but this is, this is real stiff. This doesn't bend. This is a real stiff. brow that's what it is if anyone knows anyone at benefit cosmetics please tell them to bring back the little cute compact with wax in this sh hard little angled brush because my mom and i loved it all right i hope that helps and um, if you try it let me know but it is a game changer i mean you cannot look at this you you can't deny how well that works and it's so easy and it's invisible. No brainer. Bye for now.